Welcome to Let's Play World Rally Championship Art for... After three punishing rounds, the next venue for the World Rally Championship is Spain. A country famous for its fiestas throws open its arms to welcome the WRC Carnival. The stages are all on tarmac roads around the Ret de Mar on the Costa Brava. The rally is held in the Catalan region, where the locals' pride and passion will be matched only by the driver's will to win. So yeah, time for round four of the championship. We're going back to the tarmac. We going to Spain for the that Rally de España. So away we go. First stage, 6.2 kilometers. Very, very simple looking, and I'm pretty sure it is quite simple. But here is our default setup. Let's go. So time for some high grip action as we hit the tarmac yet again. Three, here two, in the World one, Rally two. Championship. And away we go. Stage one in Spain. In Spain. A foggy start to the rally. Actually, quite foggy. I mean, this isn't the worst fog I've dealt with. Points to my Colin McRae Rally LP. Oh god, that that one stage with the intensely deep fog. But anyways, yeah. So, just going fast, man. Citroen has some pretty high top speed. 130 miles per hour. I think this thing has a higher top speed than the uh, the Peugeot that I drove in the uh, HG season. I don't even think that thing reached 120. Here we are going 130 in the Citroen. So that's cool. Anyways, I decided between segments to look up some stuff about fucking Citroen's involvement with the WRC in 2001 and the fact that they weren't in the actual like manufacturer's cup for that season, but I don't fucking know what the hell is going to happen. And I, I, I don't know. People who actually know about fucking WRC, especially in the 01 championship, I'm sure you can tell me in the comments exactly what the fuck went on. But, uh, yeah. Although I did find some interesting, uh, information on this fucking, like, WRC database that I found. Like, results database, is that uh, Thomas Radstrom, aka the guy I'm currently driving as, actually uh, finished second at Sweden in 01, driving a privateer Mitsubishi. <laughs> at least I assume it was a privateer because it wasn't a Lancer. So that's interesting. Also, according to that, he also participated in only two other rallies and retired from them both, so. I've already driven far more in this championship than Radstrom has in the in the entire real life 2001 season fantastic well not so much as time as in like actual rallies but still anyways I take the win in stage one a very 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 simple stage one that was like nothing happened in that stage at all it's interesting I think what I'm gonna do for this one is a uh, save replay of a different stage so I can get you know, more twisty bits, I don't know, but here's the early rally standings. I take the lead over Tommy Mackinnon by 1.63 seconds, Freddie Lokes in third, Carlos Sainz fourth, Richard Burns fifth, and Colin McRae in the final points spot after one stage out of five. So, let's move on to stage number two. This is more like it, more actual technicality, and also 7.4 kilometers in length. Away we go. So, with stage two finally loaded, let's... Hit the road. Here in Spain. Here we go. Spin them tires off the launch. Yeah. All right. Actually, gonna have to try to drive here. A fucking crazy concept, I know, but yeah. Anyways, let go. Nothing too difficult yet. <clears throat> Still can't get over the actual, like, top speed of this car. I don't know why. It's just... Yeah. Either that or I just wasn't paying near enough attention to the Peugeot. In the high speed sections, but... Man, this thing... Like... Can carry so much more speed than the fucking Peugeot. The Peugeot. 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 Damn, that could just be me not paying enough attention to the Peugeot. 
Ooh. Hairpin. Tight ass hairpin. Try to do decent around it. Not sure if I did. It was close enough, I guess. And I'm doing well enough in the stage. Got a seven second lead in the stage over Mackinac. Damn. Take that, Tommy. Weird. In the uh, very delayed downshifts, because fuck me. I suck. Oh god. That's a wall. Walls are thing. Walls are things that exist. Yes. Ooh. Shit tightens up real quick. I saw that. You can't fool me, game. I saw that hairpin tightening way the fuck up. I was ready. Nice try. You failed to trick me this time. Ha 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 ha. Fucker. Oh god. Ha 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 ha. Anyways. Moving on. And to the end of the stage. For nearly three minutes, and wow, I absolutely destroyed everybody in this stage. Okay. Except for that third sector, I fucking dominated. Awesome. I guess. Works for me. So whatever hiccups I had at Monte Carlo, like, in the fucking first rally, shit. You know, the fact that I was struggling with that and also ended up not winning. Shit's gone now. I am domination yet again, just like I was in the HD season. Anyways, here's the stage 2 results finally. After I did a bit of uh, menu navigation failing, because the hardest part of video games for me is menu navigation. Yep. But, anyways, here's the, the current updated standings. Freddy looks moves in to uh, second. Tommy McEnden falls from second to fourth. I have a 13 second lead over Loix. Nice. And Didier Oriol moves up into the points. Cool and good, I guess. Most cool and good for a. Uh, Pojo, at least. Anyways, time for day two and stage number three. It's only 4.5k, so it shouldn't be too long, and let's go. Are you ready for the Spanish Inquisition? I don't know. Three, two, one, let's just begin go. stage three here. Lazy launch, as always. That's just how it happens in this game, if you're using manual transmission. It's whatever. And once again, quickly almost reaching 130 miles per hour into the first, uh, like, actual braking zone of the stage. And get the early advantage at the first sector split. Hooray. Puck has the Citroen so goddamn fast in a straight line. Nice and smooth. I was trying my hardest to be smooth. Not very successful at doing it, but hey, whatever. I try, okay. Yeah, anyways. Already into the second half of the stage. Again, told you this was going to go quick at only 4Ks. 4.5Ks or whatever the fuck. Plus it's been a pretty simple stage, so it's been going by even quicker because I've been carrying a lot of speed through it. It's not too many, uh... tight turns. Oh, 
I almost want to switch to automatic transmission just because I don't know. I still have no idea what my like prime opportune shift points are. But no, I'm going to commit to sucking at manual transmission and therefore slowing down my car's acceleration. So, ha ha! Yeah. Anyways, here's our stage 3 results. I gained another 2.3 seconds over Mackinan. 7 seconds over Loix, so more shuffling in the points positions, I'm sure. There's the rest of the stage results, and here's the update. Rally results, I now have a 20 second lead over Loix, who has a uh, 1.4 second advantage over Mackinan. Alright. Science drops the fourth. Exactly one second behind Mackinan. Pretty close fight, second through fourth. I have to say. Good shit, man. Good shit. So, let's move on to stage number four. It's actually going to be raining in this stage, oh boy. So, that's cool. 6.2Ks, let's go. Alright. So, time to get wet and wild here in Spain. Yeah. Three, two, I don't fucking know. One, go! go! There we go. Photographer go like, yeah, let's watch the Citroen go offline. Vroom! Etc. Etc. So let's see how much this rain is going to reduce my grip here. Mm, quite a bit, it seems. Shit's wet. Shit's very wet. It's raining fairly heavily. So that's cool. Also, it's weird, like, playing a game, like, that has weather effects after playing Drive Club for a while, because Drive Club's weather effects are so fucking ridiculously good and amazing and just ridiculous. It's like, wow. It's, it's a fucking, it's a big jump. I was like that when I first played WRC 7. For that stream, because it's like, whoa, this is a lot more tame than I'm used to, because of Drive Club. Shit. Yeah, I don't know. Anyways. So far, so good in this stage. Green in the first two sectors. Round the hairpin. Gaining yet more time. Fuck. Smacking rails, because I suck. Yep. Climbing over dirt, because I suck. My lines are bad. My lines are bad, says one person. In that Grand Valley video. We'll never get over that. Ah. <sighs> Best comment, except not. I've had even better comments. You get some really cool, really, well, not cool, but really interesting comments from the uh, more special people. I'll tell you what. It's honestly hilarious to laugh at them and their stupidity, because I'm a terrible person. Anyways, I win the stage by a, f a lot. Hey guys, I think I'm gonna win this rally. Unless I, like, completely just fucking, like, have a heart attack and die in this final stage, which... I hope that don't happen. That'd be... that would suck to have a heart attack at 26. But anyways, there's the stage 4 results. Looks like Mackinnon's gonna take second place overall. Judging by the, uh, stage results, and sure enough, the Mitsubishis have swapped positions on the podium. And I've also pulled away from science, so hooray. But I have a 30 second cushion heading into this final stage, so fucking get wrecked nerds. And our final stage is going to be dry, and it's going to be a long one, 8.1 kilometers, so here we go. Alright, so final stage here in Spain. I'm ready to go. Are you ready for 8 kilometers of Spanish? I Wow. That was a horrible, horrible launch. Go me. That was, uh, fantastic. Very long, right four. 
But anyways, it was okay. I got a half hour cushion. Half hour, whoa. Half minute cushion. And, uh... You now the fact is this is an 8 kilometer stage, so I have plenty of time to make up the time I lost from that launch. Oh god. We're good, everything's fine. Pay attention to the road. Do, 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 do. Oh wow. That was a horrible first sector, Jesus Christ. How the fuck did I manage to lose 6 seconds in that first sector? Like... Even with the terrible launch, goddamn. Well then. I guess so much for uh, having that very comfortable half minute cushion or something. I don't know. Anyways, moving on. Whatever. Whatever. And then I make up all the time, and then some in the second sector. Alright. I see. We're having one of those situations. It's going to be interesting to look at the fucking sector gaps at the end of this stage. This is going to be plus 10 seconds, minus 13 seconds. It's like, oh. Hell. Alright. But we still have a long ways to go. We're just past the halfway point in the stage, so that's good. Got about, uh, let's say, 4Ks left. Should probably go to 6 gear for that extra acceleration. Because, you know, top speed, etc., etc. Switchbacks. the best thing, I don't know. Switchbacks are cool, although difficult, and sometimes annoying if they go on for far too fucking long. Yeah. Alright, one more sector left in the Spanish Rally. Oh no, I've fallen out of the stage lead, whatever will I do? Shit. One hundred, right three. One hundred, right three. I don't know. What does the 100 mean? Well, if you watched the HG season, you would know, because I talked about it. It's the distance in meters to the next turn. That's, that's what it is. Six, no, oh, damn it. I meant to actually, like, pay attention and look at the fucking gap shit in the results, but I didn't, like a dumbass. But it doesn't matter. I've come in first, now I've unlocked bonus stages. What? Ooh. <laughs> bonus stages. Yeah. Got a bonus. Anyways, so here's our final stage results. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Let's just scroll through the results. And the overall results of the Spanish Rally ended up winning by 37 seconds over Mackinan. Carlos Sainz finishes third. Freddy Lux fell to fifth in that last stage. Whoops. GG. Anyways, Richard Burns fourth, and Didier Oriol picks up a point for Peugeot in sixth. Here's the remaining results. All the other finishers. So, yay, we get the epic podium celebration in the background over a very blurry filter and stuff. But anyways, here's the updated Drivers' Championship. I extend my point lead to uh, 24 points over Carlos Sainz with that win and him finishing third. Did I say 24? Science has 24 points. My lead is 12 points. Fucking hell. Anyways, Tommy Mackin in third, Richard Burns fourth, Freddie Lux stays in fifth, and Didier Oriol goes into a uh, three-way tie for sixth with Grunholm and Colin McRae. And no new point scorers in this round. So, still at 11. 
the updated manufacturer standings. Once again, Citroen, get 10 points for them. Increase the lead to four, uh, over four to 11 points. Mitsubishi closes in to uh, only a two point gap between those two now. And Subaru and Pojo score more points. Skoda, Hyundai, still at four and two, so hooray. So there's our fourth round of the championship complete. We only have 10 to go, only, haha. <laughs> But uh, with that, stay tuned for more World Rally Championship and more fucking shit, I don't know.